This morning at 1.45 a.m., Mr. James Brown passed away. The Godfather of Soul died Christmas morning, 2006, 41 years after his signature song hit the Billboard charts. Officially, the cause of death was a heart attack and fluid in the lungs. He sat down on the bed. Officially, the only person with him when he died was his personal manager. And he sighed very, very quietly and very gently. Then he closed his eyes and he was dead. Until recently, I had no real reason to doubt these details. But that was before I learned that if it involves James Brown, you should always question the official story. Two years ago, I got a phone call from a woman who sang in the circus. She had some surprising things to tell me. I just kept it quiet. There was a need to know. If someone didn't ask me, I didn't tell them. James Brown was murdered. I know, it sounds insane. And that's not the half of it. In the years that followed, as I listened to Jackie and met others who knew James Brown, the story kept getting stranger. Why in the world has James Brown not been buried yet? I don't need an autopsy. That was daughter. I have his blood. This story has never been told before in the mainstream press. You won't find it in any of Brown's biographies. Nobody wanted to hear the truth. Nobody wanted to print the truth. I spent nearly two years checking out Jackie's story. I traveled through nine states, interviewed nearly 140 people, analyzed more than 1,300 pages of text messages from her iPhone, and sent a mysterious item from a black duffel bag for testing at a forensic lab. In two years, I've found out a lot of things Jackie didn't know when she called me. Pull up a chair and let me tell you the story of the circus singer and the godfather of soul. The king is dead. Long. Live the king. Oh.